This is the hard part of 75 hard. See, it's been raining. It's cold out here. I have on a rain jacket. I have my umbrella just in case. But I'm on my last like five or six minutes. So it's done. I've gotten all of my water in. I have stuck to my eating regimen. Tonight I'm having baked fish and um, turnip greens, frozen turnip greens. Ugh. But no seasoning, no pork in them or anything like that. So I'm sticking to the eating regimen with my um, vegetables, meat, no carbs, very low carbs. I won't say no carbs, but very low carbs. And I'm proud of myself, even though this is day five, really, and day two on the app. This was the hardest day. I had meetings back to back to back all day. I had to run an errand at lunch so I couldn't walk on lunch. By the time I got back, it was to go into another meeting. So I couldn't like say, well, I'll work an extra 30, 45 minutes and go ahead on and get this walk in. I had to wait until five. And as a matter of fact, I didn't log off until after five. So, you know, working from home and doing this is still gonna be a challenge, but I can say it got done and I'm proud of myself. I feel like this is gonna be a goal that I'm going to accomplish. I have to talk myself through it for tomorrow because I'm traveling. I think what I'm going to do, because I'm coming back home tomorrow night, I have to travel about two and a half, three hours away, not too far. I'm going to get up in the morning and do my walk that way, no matter what time I get back tomorrow night, I can do my indoor workout in the gym. I can ride my bike or walk on a treadmill. So, you know, it's all about me sacrificing and getting it done. But that North Carolina sky is really cloudy today. See, see back there, it's cloudy, really cloudy. I did it and I'm actually proud of myself. I was walking and walking meditating then i was listening to music and i i feel like i this is something that i'm going to accomplish i'm tired of letting myself down starting something and not finishing it that's for me i start things and don't finish but what's crazy is i completed at work it's the weirdest thing i complete my projects at work but when it comes down to me I'm like, oh, I can wait and do it another day. And I have to stop that because that trickles over into every area of my life. So if I complete it at work, I know I can complete it in my own life. So it will be done around the neighborhood. I think this is my third time, which means I'm getting faster because before I was only doing two in 45 minutes. And now I'm on my third lap. Yeah, this is my third time on my third lap. But I won't... Um, go around a fourth time this will be my last one because i only have just a few more minutes to go and i've completed my gallon of water already i did done my first workout i read so yeah i've checked off day two and i'm i'm proud of my accomplishment i feel like this is one challenge that i'm going to complete because it doesn't it helps me to build up a mental toughness to get this done whereas in times past i let myself down and not complete a task and i do realize now how you do anything is how you do everything so if i'm going to do it now i'm fully focused and getting it done no matter what and i know there are going to be obstacles but those are just hurdles that i have to cross they're not going to be anything that's going to stop me from achieving the goal because I deserve to have my alarm just went off. I deserve to have, I think that was my alarm or my headset just went off. I deserve to have the life of my dreams, no matter what. We all deserve to have the life of our dreams. We're here for a good time, not a long time. And who's to say you can't have your dreams just because someone else didn't achieve theirs doesn't mean you won't achieve yours sit down and write it out Habakkuk two and two that's one of my favorite verses in the bible write the vision and make it plain and though it may tarry it will come at an appointed time so you have to write it out what do you want to see for your life it doesn't matter 
where you um, start, it matters where you finish. And I wholeheartedly believe that. Like, I've heard so many people say, you're born looking like your parents, you die looking like your choices. And that's true, because God knows I was born looking just like both of my parents. And my choices probably would have put me in the grave by now had I not changed. So, with my obesity, my high blood pressure, high cholesterol, sleep apnea, I was a dead woman walking, for real. Okay, that was the alarm going off, so I'm headed back home. I was a dead woman walking, so I don't think I want to let anything stop me from achieving this goal. I um, 